just get the run around. Wham bam, cap out, who's gonna help us now? Call the feds, the people cry, and these bad guys got no alibi. Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse. No baloney, this guy's no phony, honest to the bone. Step on the gas mag, trap that bad guy, Al Capone. Unbeatable, incorruptible, the untouchable. Well, hello Get there, Al. One walks these streets at night The sirens wail and bullets fly We need a little justice now Call for Elliot Mouse We live in fear of cheese racketeers In the sky But we've got tough guys on our side So kiss your kids goodbye Incredible Incredible Unbribable Unbribable The untouchable The untouchable It's Elliot Mouse In old cheese cargo St. Valentine's Day in Chicago. Beautiful. Here. Thanks. On one particular St. Valentine's Day in Chicago, the whole city watched as a series of surprising but very welcome events began to unfold. Elliot Mouse had managed to get hold of Alcatone's financial records, most notably a ledger which detailed bribes to important public figures and city officials, all of whom had resigned and were awaiting sentence. This was to cause such a shakeup that in the famous cheese museum where there are figures of Elvis Cheesley, Katina Turner, and Cat Gable, the figures of Mayor Thompson, Judge Ratavy, and Counselor Cat Dan were removed to be remelted. There was still one to be removed. The figure of Al Katone, which had been damaged. Gotcha, trying to get in without the ticket, huh? Huh? Ow! Hey, you're hurting me! You oh, let go, yeah. Mr. Get out Wait, of here! Ow. And don't come back unless you got the money to buy your ticket. Oh, thanks a lot! Skin flint! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey, kids, what's all the hullabaloo about? Oh, what? Oh, it's nothing, Mr. Barati. We just heard there were some new monster figures in the museum, and so we wanted to see them. Yeah, but the price for a ticket is just too much, and we don't have a single cheese dollar. Well, maybe I can help you out with that. Do you mean it? There you go, guys. And if you come with me to the Cheese Cargo Tribune, they'll give you some papers to sell and you can earn the rest. Hey, great! Have you seen the monsters? Is it true they've got Mouse Ferrado and Fran Stein's monster? Sure it's true. They've even got Freddy Gruyere from Nightmare on Cheese Street. It's a good collection, although one or two of the monsters are damaged. Before anyone could do anything, he started clubbing the figure of Al Catone till it was quite badly damaged. What a rotten trick. The bus looked great. Yeah, that was huh? the only place the bus didn't yell or hit baseballs at us. He always looked happy in the museum. Good. <laughs> hey, careful, Doug Nutello. We're all done now, Senor Catone. The molds have turned out perfectly. Of course, I need another generous cheese of donation from you. Hmm. Ah, get off me! Ah, oh, this cheese. Serves you right. And another thing, what's worse is that blue cheese big mouth Elliot Mouse stole my accounts from my bookkeeper. Nothing to worry about. Your name wasn't mentioned in the book, senor. They can't prove a thing. My friend Teddy Foxy told me so. He should be here any minute. Hmm. You know that guy, Jack? Sure, that's Teddy Foxy, the best crooked lawyer in Chicago. Yeah, Cato must really be feeling the pressure if he's brought him in. We got him! Don't count your cheese until it's melted, Gordon. That accounts ledger is worthless unless we can get hold of the bookkeeper who wrote it. Signor Catron, please allow me to introduce my good friend, Teddy Foxier, the best lawyer in the state. I've heard a lot about you, Teddy. Do you think you can help? Sure, the only people who are guilty are those who can't afford my fees. I think you're going to be very, very innocent. You'll be amply rewarded for your time. Now tell me, can they prove anything against me using that book? The problem isn't the book, it's Walter Me? Here. What? But why is that? They could get him to admit he worked for you. Don Catone, you know I'd never betray you. Oh, I'd like to believe you, Walter, but I can't afford to take that chance. All right, fellas, Walter's gonna be leaving the country. Make sure he never comes back, understand? Yeah! <laughs> oh, we oh, understand, oh, Senor Catone. Oh. Well, Senor, now you have a vacancy for an accountant. Hey, look, they got Walter, the accountant. Okay, Jack, follow him, but don't let him see you and don't lose him. No problem, Elliot. Gordon's just attaching my latest invention to that car. <laughs> This radio transmitter will give us their exact location, wherever they are. Great, it'll be easy to keep track. Good work, Gordon. Now let's see where they're headed. 
Okay, they're heading for the docks. Let's get over there. Come on, Nitty, give me a break. Don't throw me in the lake. I don't know how to swim. What makes you think we do that? We're your friends, ain't we, Walter? Yeah, and as you don't know how to swim, we're gonna let you have this boat, you see? Now get in! No! So long, Walter. Walter. Have a nice trip. Don't get seasick. And don't show your face round here again if you know what's good for you. Bye, Walter. Huh? I'll miss you. Hey, Walter. You forgot this. Oh! Whoa! Hurry up, Jack. We gotta help him. This is a job for the 326. Hold on tight. I'm taught the 326 hurts a swim. Wow, that was some jump. Help me! Help me! Okay, oh, that's help, it, Jack. Oh, I got it. Oh. All right, you're safe now. It's the Untouchables! Shoot them, Scalisi. They got Walter. Come on! Right, now I think we'd better get out of here. We're a sitting duck floating around like this. If I'd known this was going to happen today, I'd have bought my rubber ring with me. Stop firing! They've escaped. Let's go tell the boss. Thanks for the help, friends. I'm Walter Sum, Catone's accountant. I can give you evidence if you protect me from him. You hear that, fellas? Catone's ours. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Extra, extra, Untouchables press charges against Catone. Read all about it. Key witness in trial. Extra, extra. Why, well, you cheese-crumbling fatheads, can't you do anything right? If he does talk to the police and he mentions his association with you, you will go to jail. Shut up, you morons! It's your fault they got my bookkeeper and he could get me sent down, don't you understand? Now, wait a minute, Senor Catone. This case won't go to court for quite some time, so we can arrange to exchange something for your bookkeeper. Ah, feds never took bribes before, so why should they now? Not money, no, but maybe Agent Mouse has someone special in his life. Someone close, maybe? I know, Deborah from the Cheese Pui. Elliot Mouse stole her from me, she's the one. Good thinking, Nitty. If we kidnapped her, we could force Elliot Mouse to exchange Walter for her if we wanted to see her again. If we're going to the Cheese Parade Club, shouldn't we get some cheese from them for Doug Nutello's figure? Shut up, Anselmi. No one's bothered about that stupid museum. Wait, Scalise. The Pea Brain's got an idea. We could hide Deborah there. There? You hear that? And this time, you better not make any mistakes, or you'll be out there feeding the fishes from the bottom of the lake. We'll be safe here until the trial, Walter. No one knows about this place except for us. And you'll have a guard. Everything you need is right here in the larder. Yeah, that's not bad, but there's just one thing missing. Oh, I ordered everything myself. I thought I got it all. Cheese cola. The things we put up with. It's just cheese cola. I need it. All right, don't worry. We'll get you cheese cola. Can we get out of here? Yeah, let's go. Come on, fellas. Cheesy cola, how sickening. Have you ever tried it, Gordon? Oh, sure. It's meant to be a new kind of cheese yep. juice, but it tastes right, like Gordon. medicine. It's awful stuff. Yep. It'll never take off. Not as long as Pierre makes cheese cocktails as good as you. Thank you, kind sir, and have a wonderful Valentine's Day. The Chief Paris, Jack. Let me come with you. I won't get in the way. I'll even pick up cheese cola for Walter. No, Gordon. I want to be on my own with Deborah. Don't leave him huh? alone, Gordon. It's Valentine's Day. Yeah, I know. That's why I want to go in to show my love of cheese. Stop it, Gordon. We got work to do. There are already 12,127 documents to process for the trial. Gee, thanks a lot, Wilson. You sure know how to cheer a guy up. So then, Elliot, it looks as if things are really huh? serious between you and Deborah. Yeah, I guess you're right, Jack. And I picked a day of all days to ask her to be my fiance. See? That's really beautiful. You make a perfect couple. I always said you were made for each other. I don't like this, Nitty. No, I don't like it at all. Come on, you wanted the cheese. Stop belly aching. Oh! oh! Ah! Why not send him a telegram, clumsy moron? Yeah! What can I do for you, monsieur? Uh, I'm a health inspector. I'm here to inspect all the cheese you have in the storage. Oui, monsieur. Please come in. But I trust there is nothing wrong. There's a shipment of contaminated cheese in the city. People are being infected with cheese coli. <laughs> come here. Well, good luck.
luck, Elliot. Go get her, buddy. See ya. Oh, hi, Deborah. How are you? Happy Valentine's Day. Here, I brought you some flowers. Oh, Elliot, they're really beautiful. Oh, you shouldn't have it. Well, where are your friends? Well, I kind of wanted to talk to you one-to-one, -one, you see, Deborah. Well, if you insist, let's find a quiet place to sit together. It's just as I suspected, I'm afraid. These cheeses are contaminated and will be confiscated. Oh, just a moment, monsieur. I must inform my partner. We've known each other for a little while now, Deborah, and I was just thinking that maybe you and I could, well... Now, what are you saying? Well, this being Valentine's Day and all, I got a little something for you. You bought me a present. Oh, what is it? Wait a minute, Deborah. Don't open it yet. There's something I want to say to you first. <coughs> something I've been wanting to say to you for quite a long time. What's the matter, Pierre? An health inspector says that our cheese is contaminated. Excuse me, Elliot. I'll be right back. Don't go away now, you hear? Sure, Deborah. I'll be here. What nonsense. I inspected all of this cheese and it's perfectly good. Now! <coughs> you better keep quiet or it'll be worse for you. Come on, fellas. Let's grab the cheese and get out of here. No point hanging around. I wonder what's taking them so long. I better go and see what's going on. Pierre, what is it? What's happened? And where's Deborah? I don't know. Someone hit me. Huh? Oh! They've taken Deborah. But why? I don't understand. Sorry, dollface, but if you'd have picked me instead of Mouse. Pick a coward like you, and you've huh? always given me the creeps. Well, I got you now, sugar lips, whether you like it or not. Oh, you just wait till Elliot hears about this. That mooch don't bother me none. And if he don't do what we tell him to do, then you're gonna disappear. Don't worry, my dear. I would not allow someone as beautiful as you to disappear forever. Not when I can immortalize you in a cheese. Hey, what are you doing, you cheese whip? Dagnatella, will you make a figure of me? I did get you all the cheese. Someone of your elegance deserves an equestrian figure, and tell me. Someone like a cheese polyan, but they need more cheese for the horse. An equestrian figure? Oh, boy, that's just what I want. But what is that? The cheese says there's no sign of Deborah, and we can't leave in case there's a call from her. Maybe Robin, Mooney, and Junior could help by taking the calls. I'm afraid they just left, Gordon. They went to the cheese museum to see the new monster figures. They've been saving all week for the tickets. Ah. Uh, Wait a minute. Untouchables, who's calling? I want to talk to that cheese ball, Elliot Mouse. Huh? Oh, it's you. Say what you gotta say. If you ever want to see your precious Deborah alive again, you better bring Walter Sump to the old car junkyard tonight at 8. Ham all. Right, that was Rat Nitty. Seems like Catone wants to exchange Deborah for Walter. You're not thinking of giving in to his demands, are you, Elliot? Of course not, but it's the only clue we have to Deborah's whereabouts. We'd better follow it up and see what happens. I'll disguise myself as Walter. Okay, Wilson. Look, that's Freddy Gruyere, and Mouse Mia, and the Frenchiestein monster. It was certainly worth all the hard work, wasn't it? Mm-hmm, you bet, Robin. There's Ratsan, king of the jungle, with his pet monkey, Cheesta. See? What are you doing? You don't like bananas. Yeah, but this banana is made out of cheese. You want to get us thrown out of here? Besides, that cheese is full of chemicals. It ain't good for you. It is. Why didn't you say so in the first place, Robin? The Hunchback at notre e Dam. Ah. Yeah, that's right, Katsumoto. He lived in the bell tower. Now that smells just like real cheese to me. Hey, Robin, where's Junior? He's gone again. Up to his usual tricks. He went that away. Oh, no, those little brats have come down to the basement. Come on, Junior, <laughs> stop eating. Let's go before someone finds us. Well, I'm sorry, Robin, but I was really hungry, and this cheese is delicious. Hey, fellas, look. Have you seen that? They've made the head of Miss Deborah. Why would they be making a figure of her? What are you kids doing a snooping around here? Huh? Run for it, boys! Like a mouse and a the trap. Potion! Run! Hey, Junior! Hold on tight! Give me a hand, Robin! Let go of me! Nice going, 
Junior. Now we can't finish seeing the exhibits. And we can't afford to come back. Sorry, but I was hungry. I'm still hungry. Let's get some corn and I'll make popcorn. Come on then, Greedy Guts. I guess you're never gonna change. Take it nice and slow, Jack. Hey there! That's Ratnidi's car and there's someone in it. Why don't you take a closer look, Elliot? Go ahead, hey, be thanks. my guest. Looks like Deborah, but go easy. This is all the signs of a trap. Don't worry, the 326 is ready for action. Hey, oh! what the cheese and chance is going on? Jack, oh! do something. I'm trying, Elliot. I'm trying. Come on, Jack. Put up the shields and hurry. I can't. My electromagnets jammed on the controls. Don't worry. That the bull will take care of it. Go get them. Hey, what the? Hey! Bull, now get us down from here, will ya? <laughs> oh, Bull, not that lever! <laughs> hey, we don't got a car no more. What are we gonna do? Run before they get that cheesed-up car after us, you idiot! Good job, oh. nice car. Hurry Walk up and move. Ball. Deborah was in that car. <laughs> no! Deborah! Ah! It's okay, it ain't Deborah after all. Only a doll. Yeah, a doll that's made of rotten cheese, Elliot. Those cheese balls got away, Elliot. What's our next step? Back to headquarters and wait for a new lead. I wonder where Deborah is. As long as we have Walter, they wouldn't dare harm Deborah. I guess you're right, Jack, but that doesn't mean she's not in danger. Hey, did you hear that? It sounded like gunshots coming from the boys' shed. Let's go. All right then, fellas, we're going in. All right, stick them up. Huh? Oh. Oh. But it's only the boys in here. What's up? We were just making some popcorn. Someone has kidnapped Miss Deborah. We thought... Hey, that's funny. We saw a model of her at the Cheese Museum this morning. Hey, wait a minute. The model that was in Nitty's car, that was made out of cheese, too. Yeah, of course. That must be it. The Cheese Museum. Let's get over there. Well, let's go, fellas. Hey, wait for us. Yeah, we're coming, too. You keep an eye on Deborah. I'll tell Senior Catone what happened. It's about time you got here. Come in. Oh, it's the fates. What are we gonna do now? I'm too young to go to prison. We'll give him a warm reception. Bring all the melted cheese you got. And sell me get on that pedestal. Don't move till I tell you. FMI, open up. We got a search warrant. No one in? We'll soon see. Bust it down, Gordon. Yeah. Come on. All right, guys, now let's take it nice and easy. Despite the smell of cheese, I don't like this place at all. Hey, uh -huh. yeah, you got them. Stick them up. No way, sardine breath. Go get him, Bill. Come on. <laughs> it's no good. Your weapon just won't work, which is hard cheese. <laughs> now get down to that basement and move it. <laughs> Keep moving. Lots of work to do tonight. Oh no, they caught the untouchables! <laughs> hey, look, guys, they got Miss Deborah too. We gotta help them. Hey! That fire's giving me an idea. Follow me. What's happening? You're toast. Give it up, the police are on the way. Yeah, it's always the tooth fairy. Come on, it's bath time. <laughs> This is an emergency. We'll put it right to my... I think this is the kind of thing that could put a fella off cheese. Cheer up, everybody. You're gonna be immortalized in cheese. You'll look great on exhibition. Hey, wait a minute. Why are you getting dust on before me? That ain't fair, Scully. Shut up, dummy, and get back to your place. Right. <laughs> Ah! Hey, what's up? 
Oh, oh, someone oh. shooting at us. This is the police. You're surrounded. Oh, they're caught up in us. Oh. Nobody's shooting at us. It's popcorn. Come and take a walk. Yeah. How did it get there? Hey, what happened, Scalisi? You should be happy you got your cheese statue now. I want to thank all of you boys. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here now. Yeah, it was really brave of you to face those thugs alone like that. Shucks, <laughs> that was nothing. Just a minute. Gordon, Wilson, let me have your badges for a moment. Say, if you're thinking what I think you're thinking, it's a really great idea, Elliot. Boys, you've earned the title, The Young Untouchables. Thanks, Agent Mouse! Yeah! Hey, you know what I want to hear, Thelonious, so play it again. And if you don't mind, I'd kind of like to have this dance, Miss Deborah. It will be a pleasure, Agent Mouse. I was wondering, would I be right in thinking you lost something on Valentine's Day? Something which might have been precious to you? Yeah, I lost your present, Elliot. Uh. <laughs> I never even got a chance to look at it properly. Oh, Elliot is beautiful. I can't thank you enough. But, uh, didn't you also want to ask me something? Oh, yeah, well... Elliot? <laughs> Deborah. Well, come on, Elliot. Spit it out. I, uh... I wanted to know if, uh... <laughs> okay, here it goes. Deborah, will you marry me? Oh, of course I will, you idiot. Oh, come here! Wow. <laughs> Like a couple of turtle Oh, dogs. yeah. I guess you're right. It is sweet, but I got something hey, I gotta Gordon, go and say to her. There, you see, Elliot? Wasn't I right about what I said the other day? What are you talking Remember? about, Gordon? What's going on? Well, even though we're all here in the club with you, you can enjoy being on your own with Deborah without us bothering you. Am I right? Pierre, make Gordon a dozen of your best cheese cocktails to see if he'll leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> Not only have the fellas saved Deborah, but they also managed to get Anselmi and Scalisi locked up in prison, and this time, thanks to the Untouchables, there were no corrupt judges there to get them out. Something that you can bet not everyone was happy about. Get out of here, or you'll be taking a long walk on a short pier! Well, the most important job lay before them, locking up Rat Nitty and Al Catone, but the Untouchables knew that that day was coming, and Catone's time was running out. A breakthrough for Special Agent Elliot Mouse. A witness in need of protection. Evidence which disappears. Bribery, treachery, deception, and danger. Especially danger. As the last day arrives, a day which will see the notorious Al Catone in the court of Chicago, what surprises has the evil gangster in store? Could this really be his final judgment day? Be sure not to miss one moment in the concluding episode of Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables.